Five broadcasters, a couple of animators, a few editors out of this because we're going to talk about opportunities, professional opportunities in this cybercast industry. And I want to hear from you how you're making use of this uh, digital electronic technology in your own lives. And uh, so we're going to move through this a little bit. First of all, by way of introduction, personal introduction, let's, uh, Mr. Lang, I'm going to now share my desktop for you, and you please confirm whether you'll be able to see the opening slate here, the opening title. It's good. Okay. Uh, for you, my co-participants here at the school, the uh, Ridgewood Middle School, there is always about a 10-second delay uh, in this technology. It is not yet a perfect science, so we may have some technical problems, but please bear with us as we try to get through this session today. As you see on the big screen there, this is Japan Journal, the Internet's number one weekly English language online cybercast from Japan. It is not broadcast, it is not cablecast, but it is a cybercast, which means it's coming to you online, over the internet, and throughout the world wide web from Japan. Uh, we are happy uh, to be at Ridge Road Middle School, Charlotte, North Carolina, USA. It is the Exploring Business Technology class, teacher Ms. Jerry Moore and facilitator Mr. and Mrs. Alan Lane. Now, uh, the, th the topic of today is the media in a global village, and we'll decide what that means throughout the course of this uh, session uh, with the subtitle, Media Arts Careers in Cyberspace. So, as I give you my personal resume, and as I share with you my experiences, you'll learn that there are many tasks associated with being a broadcaster or a television news program producer. And we'll enumerate these various tasks. And I want you to always be aware and, and conscious of opportunities that may coincide with your sets of interests or skills or what have you that uh, may afford you a future opportunity in this area, the broad area of the media, the international media or digital media or cybercast skills or what have you. This is a live interactive Skype cast from Japan produced by my firm, Totown Digital Media. So looking at the first slide here, let's change the slide and uh, see what we got here. Mr. Lane, please confirm. Okay. okay, there we go. Slide is up. All right. Yep. Okay. Do you folks know who that man is? Bush. Okay, that is uh, President George H.W. Bush, and that guy to his right, that's uh, young Mal Adams as a correspondent for the Cable News Network in Tokyo. Um, let me just, uh, while you're looking at that, give you a brief overview of my resume and my career, um, starting with the fact that as of uh, more 35 years ago, um, Actually, 42 years ago, I began as a professional broadcast journalist in radio and television, TV and radio, producer-director, news bureau management, a program manager and producer-director, a newscaster, an anchorman, a videographer, and a film photojournalist. And to facilitate many of these tasks, you have to be a writer, which I was and still am, an editor, and now in my current role as president and executive producer of Totown Communications Company Limited here in Japan, I am a corporate communications company owner, an executive management skills person. I own and operate an independent record label called Totown Records, and I'm executive producer for that organization, as well as a technical record producer. I operate in Japanese, we call it a yofu izakya, which is a country-style eatery, which is a drinking and eating establishment, a bar and restaurant called Mal's Bar. Uh, it is a family business. I operate with my wife, and from time to time, my children, who are teenagers, uh, my son just turned 20, my daughter is a third-year uh, high school student, and sometimes uh, they assist us in that nighttime evening operation. So I have a skill as a bartender as well. Um, in addition to a business consultant, artist manager, concert and event producer promoter, copyright manager and administrator, a small business entrepreneur, 
a cross-cultural communications trainer and consultant, English language instructor, trainer, and operator of Adams International Academy, which is my English and Japanese language school. I started in 1969 at the age of 19 at KETV Channel 7 News in Omaha, Nebraska. That is my hometown, and that is where I met Mr. Lane. He and I have been acquainted for over 40 years, early on as uh, college students, and by virtue of this technology that we're using now, we have maintained our relationship and in constant contact internationally, worldwide, globally, by Skype and other means. Later, in 1972, I went to New York City from Omaha, Nebraska, where I worked uh, at WCBS Radio in New York. That was an internship uh, as a radio reporter and broadcaster. At that time, I gathered news and conducted interviews uh, on audio tape, because it is a radio broadcast, and composed narration scripts and announced the stories on air and on tape. Later, I returned back to Nebraska, my hometown, and uh, while attending the University of Nebraska in Lincoln, I served as a senior producer correspondent for Nebraska ETV's Educational Television Network as a producer director and produced a weekly series on minority affairs. It was a monthly program uh, where I produced documentaries on Native Americans, women, uh, physically challenged people uh, and ethnic minorities in the Middle West region of the United States. At the same time, the job required me to be a lecturer in uh, mass communications law uh, for a graduate seminar. And uh, subsequent to that, in 1976, I moved from the Midwest to Los Angeles, California where I operated at KTTV News, Channel 11, which was then Metro Media. The Metro Media Corporation subsequently became Fox News, but at that time in 1976, it was a privately owned organization, a network of about seven uh, stations throughout the United States, out of Los Angeles, Hollywood, California. I was a TV reporter and the city hall and government reporter and a weekend anchor person at that time. Uh, Entity. In 1978, I then joined CBS KNX News Radio 1070 in Los Angeles, where I conducted live radio broadcasts as an anchorman and a reporter and news writer. And at that time, I had the opportunity to come to Japan for CBS Tokyo. I uh, transferred to the CBS Tokyo Bureau as a radio reporter correspondent a news broadcaster, and uh, the CBS Morning News and the CBS Radio Worldwide Broadcast were my uh, special programs for a two-year period from 1981. Subsequent to that, in about 1984, the owner of the all-new cable news network, CNN, of Atlanta, Georgia, uh, uh, one year after launching his uh, broadcast out of Atlanta, uh, established his first overseas bureau in Tokyo, Japan, and I was recruited from CBS to launch and head that operation uh, back in 1984. Uh, the Tokyo office uh, for the former owner, Ted Turner, as a producer, correspondent, and program manager, and host of the award-winning 30-minute worldwide broadcast entitled This Week in Japan. So as I'm giving you this information, I'm giving you a lot of job skills and, and tasks here, so I want you to formulate some questions so we can get into more detail. Uh, if you're interested in any aspect of this for your own particular uh, professional careers. Subsequently, in 1986, 87, to the present time, I established my organization called Totown Communications Company Limited, and, uh, and uh, it was a small business enterprise that had two or three entities at that time, beginning with Totown Records and um, Mal's Bar. Subsequently, I established that. But the name Totown, you may wonder where that came from. Well, I was interested in media and entertainment uh, promotion, so Toe Town was named for Tokyo Town, or the Motown of Tokyo. So most foreigners understood what that meant. 
by calling it total communications, but my Japanese counterparts, when looking at it in the Romanized alphabet, pronounce it two town, as though I was going to town, you know, but uh, that's something that I often have to correct. We'll get into writing Japanese and uh, uh, the uh, uh, Japanese reading English with a different pronunciation later, because uh, uh, a little bit later on into this program, I want you to have pencil and paper ready and be prepared to learn how to introduce yourself in Japanese. We're going to give you a short course on that in the course of today's presentation. I attended the University of Nebraska in Omaha, and uh, around those years, um, I met Mr. Rain, as I mentioned. Subsequently, I went to Creighton University, where I began specializing in courses, because as a second year graduate student, uh, after the passing of my father, for economic reasons, I had to go to work. But I was blessed to be able to get a job at the age of 19 as a local TV reporter on the local channel in Omaha, Nebraska, the ABC affiliate. And uh, from there on, never looking back, I have yet to acquire a, a, a baccalaureate degree as an undergraduate, although I have been, uh, secured a job as a professor of uh, mass communications law because of the equivalent amount of experience and training. So at this point, I cannot emphasize or overemphasize that education is a lifelong learning process. And uh, uh, you will find that in whatever job you have, it's always a learning situation that will always prepare you for your next position as you uh, grow professionally and also uh, accompany your educational process along with those uh, jobs that you may have. So uh, much for that. Let me move on now to uh, my current operation now. And I'm going to change this slide and uh, try to just uh, give you a bit of narrative over some of these photos. You see a picture there of myself and President George Bush. I, uh, that was taken in Tokyo, Japan. Uh, um, as